do we have here? Here we got a sugar power outlet. Well, uh, that is actually a German expression for it, where Schu is the short for um, Schutz, which means protection, and Co means contact, which actually means contact, yeah, in English as well, so it's pretty similar. And uh, with that they mean those two uh, protection contacts, which are basically Earth. Um, yeah, I guess let's go into details. Well, I think that this is the best power outlet and the best socket format um, there actually is. Right. I'm terribly for sorry if there's two uh, slightly darker stripes in this video. That's because of the light I have right here. Oh, well. So, let's start off with the standard sugar plugs and the only real sugar plugs, which is the angled one and the straight one. Um, and then, compatible with it is also that plug, which is pretty similar but doesn't, but doesn't have the shuko. And uh, then we have the Euro plug. And the amazing thing about these uh, is that they're all compatible. So here we got a shuko, um, kind of like a power cross, I don't know what you call these. Um, and they all plug in just fine. Yeah, so they are all compatible to each other. And um, yeah, let's go into details about each and every one of these plugs. Right, the straight plug is uh, primarily meant and used um, for things like kitchen appliances that get um, plugged in and out a lot. So uh, if I have a power bar right here, um, you can see you can plug these in. And um, if you just have to remove them quickly, you just take it like that and you can uh, remove it like that. But with the angled one, it's not as easy. So, for example, the angled one like this, um, it actually is a lot, it's actually a lot flatter. So, um, if you have it like behind a, uh, behind a cupboard or so, where your TV plugs in, and that is um, the better choice. It's more like for the, for the permanent installation where the plug stays in for a bit longer and doesn't get removed all the time so because they are sometimes a bit harder to remove and um, they're not they don't have this nice of a grip like those ones so these ones are like for regular removal and those ones are for or for like um, consistent plugging in and plugging out for example your toaster that you uh, plug out after use and uh, these ones are like for um, more permanent um, uh, for more permanent installations. Then we got this type, which is um, pretty similar to the sugar plug. So if I have a look at this, um, I put a sugar plug on here. So it doesn't have the uh, protection part to it, uh, like this one. But you can see it is. Um, it does have the exact same size. So um, this is the type you normally find on like fan heaters and vacuum cleaners. Um, so they don't need to be grounded, but in order to actually stay in the socket a bit better, let me just demonstrate to you then a Euro plug, which is this smaller type. So you see you can plug this in real nicely, um, but it's also falling out really easily. So if you've got a vacuum cleaner with a cord that it pulls on, it would immediately fall out of the socket. But with that one, that's not the case, because that one is really stiff and it doesn't really come out it really need to pull on uh, in order to get it out. So that's basically what that is. Another thing is that uh, the um, all the new Shuko power bars and um, outlets come with uh, a child protection feature. These are those red flaps you can kind of see down here. So if I tilt the light a bit, you can see it a bit better. Let me just demonstrate this to you. So uh, let's assume that I was a child, was playing around finding this and happening to find a screwdriver. Um, and I wanted to stick it into there. So if I stick it right here, it doesn't, doesn't nothing happens really, because this is ground. Um, now if I want to place it in here, it's not going to work, even though if I really try, it's not going in, because both of these need to be pushed to the side by a round object, which is this basically, a plug. So these have the surrounded tips, so they push these flaps to one side, 
and, um, and then this basically allows the plug to go all the way in. Um, it's not like with the British plugs where you need to just uh, use, uh, we just need to push something in there and it opens up the flaps. Now you actually need to have a genuine plug in order to open those, so you need to have both and a round object. Yeah, that's basically that. Also, another safety feature of those is, um, I did actually mention that you can plug these in both ways, so if I was to plug them in the other side, it works out just as well. Right, another thing about these uh, plugs is that they are friendly for your feet most of the time. So, just assume that I just left these they most likely land like this. If you would step on it, it would certainly not be comfortable, but in comparison to a British block, which tends to fall in that way, uh, you really want to just step on those, right? Um, and uh, that just basically doesn't really happen with those fellas that much. So with those, uh, you basically just have the opportunity of having it like this, which really doesn't happen that often. Most of the time they land on the floor like that, and you could just step on it and it would be an absolute pain. Right, um, next thing is, those things are bulky. These are really, really, really bulky. So if you would have like an iPhone charger, it's automatically becoming massive just because of uh, the plug itself and the prongs out there, they're really big. We use um, Euro plugs for those. So it can be as small as it gets. Um, and another thing is that you can actually put, sometimes put uh, two of these Euro plugs in there. For example, uh, yeah, get one of these, plug it right here, and then one of these, plug it right here. You can have two Euro plugs if you have one of those. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of an optional thing, but. Um, it, you can occasionally find those. Um, so you can either plug in one big one or two small ones. Another th safety thing about these is, um, and also a pretty practical one, that uh, if you plug in the plugs, they're oriented that way. So um, that is not a very fortunate design right here. So if you were to have uh, two of those, which I actually have, um, you would get have, you'd be in trouble if you try to fit those in like that and then if there would be another one you wouldn't know how to fit them in but the most common design is actually that one so that way you can fit them all in and it works like a charm and um, what stops you from being electrocuted My, I mean that doesn't really look like good electrocution protection. When you have a look at the British plugs, you know they have this bit, bit of plastic right here. The Euro plugs have the plastic right here. Well, what's the protection part about those? Well, let's have a look. Here we've got our outlet again, and let's have a look. Now, it hasn't even made contact yet. Uh, it hasn't even broken through the uh, shower protection, but uh, you can no longer uh, touch the um, the prongs, so as soon as it's in there, there's no chance for you to touch the prongs. Uh, same thing with the Euro plug. Uh, you could technically break through the uh, child protection and uh, then have the prongs exposed uh, and try to squeeze your finger there, but um, only the plastic part is exposed right there, so there's absolutely um, no way for you to get your fingers in there, because it doesn't show it, but it's only the plastic part that is that's exposed at the moment. Same thing with those. These are fully made of metal, and um, same thing with those. You can no longer reach in there because it's now basically sealed this off. So I guess that's basically why I think these are pretty much the best you can get, and uh, I guess that's going to be it for this video.